I'm so upset and I still can't believe that Shane Warne has passed away due to possible heart attack. He's the real GOAT, greatest of all time. Every cricket lover would have imitated his leg spinning bowling action at least once and he has definitely created significant changes and he is a inspiration to most of us. And may his soul rest in peace. So we don't know exactly what happened. All we know is he was found unresponsive in the house and we are expecting possibly it could be a massive heart Heart attack. But I'm making this quick video about this issue because media is taking this news in a wrong way. They are projecting as if Shane Warne enrolled in a heavy weight loss program and because he exerted too much, he had heart attack and he died. Before it gets spiraled out, I want to dive deep into it and make sure that all the myths are busted. So it is true that Shane Warne himself has tweeted 10 days ago that you know time to get into shape, uh, target is July and he was so excited to get back into the same shape what he was in when he was actually playing. So people are thinking that because he exerted himself during this workout, he had a heart attack. I'm here to say that it is absolutely not true completely. So let's say take the three different legendary cricket players, Saurabh Ganguly, Mutaya Murlitharan and Shane Warne. All had heart attacks at a different level of severity and unfortunately Shane Warne passed away. Both Saurabh Ganguly and Mutaya Murlitharan did survive a heart attack and by placing a small stent in the heart. See, the common denominator for all these three players is they were fit while they were playing, but after they retired, they did put on a little bit of a belly fat. In some cases, it might be a little bit too much. In addition, the stress that they were in while playing is not a factor to ignore because stress increases cortisol levels and cortisol is the single most important hormone that will make you develop belly fat, thinking that you will need this fat in future. And in addition to all this, unfortunately, Shane Warne also also has a history of alcohol use in the past. Alcohol use has been shown to deposit belly fat very easily compared to a patient who don't drink alcohol. So we talked about the exact same topic a year ago when Saurav Ganguly developed a heart attack that belly fat is absolutely important. If your waist circumference is more than 100 centimeters in men, there are increased risk of heart disease and also sudden cardiac death as well. I want to bring up five important points as we can use the situation to create awareness because Shane Warne is near and dear to all of us. Again, it is with a full disclaimer that I exactly don't know what happened. But in general, these are the five points that we should work on if our waist circumference is more than 100 centimeters, especially in men. Number one, alcohol use and excess calories by overeating. These are the two main factors for belly fat accumulation. And if you meet the criteria, including women, if your waist circumference is more than 90 centimeters, you need to stop these two right away. And number two is the most important point. Weight training and weight lifting is absolutely important. Over exertion is not the reason for heart attack in most of the cases in very rare situations where there is a condition called hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy where they are genetically born with an obstructed ventricular output where the blood flow is blocked. In that situation, over exertion might be a reason but that is extremely rare. It is not common and that is not the reason for many of the deaths that we are seeing. And number three, the most important point is research have shown that steroids have been used in a shorter period of time to promote, you know, bulkiness and making sure that they are fit in a short span of time, which has significant deleterious effect on the body, including causing heart attack. You know, and all these artificial supplements, we don't know what it contains, especially steroids can cause untoward side effects that we don't even know what can happen. So please don't don't take me wrong that I'm saying Shane Warne took steroids. I don't know exactly what he did. I'm pretty sure he did not. But people who are taking steroids should have as a wake up call that steroids are not indicated at all. Please, please stop taking it for bodybuilding if you are thinking about long term change. And the fourth point is don't aim for short term results. Aim for long term lifestyle change. This will not come down in one to two months. It is going to take some time based on the amount of inches of fat that you have in your belly. And number five, even to build muscle, you can follow this time restricted feeding technique. At least a minimum of 10 hour eating window is more than adequate. And if if you want to train, try to focus on training around 2 to 3 p.m. where your insulin sensitivity is so high that the muscle buildup might be much easier. Again, a huge humble request to you is that 
please please do this homework wake up the first thing in the morning check your waist circumference if it is more than 90 centimeters in men and if it is more than 80 centimeters in women around the belly button you have some work to do it is time to get fit there are so many uncontrollable factors but it is time to be on top of the factors that we can control